Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to um, another Monster Spotlight. Now, this one's going to be a little bit special. The reason why I wanted to make this was because I was thinking of this, um, you know, I was basically theory crafting, thinking of a possible way to um, utilize certain monsters that are given to us for free. Now, in this video, I'm going to be spotlighting the Dark Fibian, and I actually have two Dark Fibians to spotlight in this video. Um, one is by X -Math X -Math Masters. And um, the other is Shogukan or Sho Sho Shokusha. Shokusha. Uh, Shokusha actually signed up for Monster Spotlight and um, a while ago to actually do his Dark Fibian. And I'm actually going to show it right now because a lot of people actually do have access to this monster since this monster is going to be well, it's not going to it. It is already on Rebirth. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to do a double aggressor um, with this as a healer and then two sappers. Basically, this way I can get heals, um, as well as uh, as well as as well as him wave clearing, because he ha he actually has a pretty nice wave clear. Now, the Dark Fibian is a monster with Battle Rush and Adrenaline. So what this does is, on critical hits, he basically um, has Battle Rush and restores his own SP and HP by 20%. And on on his five star skill he gets adrenaline which basically is like you know a lot of people probably are familiar with this, this is similar to the wood nightmare um water nightmare or light succubus um a lot or wood uh, wood valk you know a lot of monsters do actually have a skill like this or the light verde um basically it just hits and heals for 10% of his max HP. And this actually heals for 10% based on however many units, however many enemy units. So against four enemy units, this actually heals for 40% of his max HP. Now, um, the, the, I think the fun thing we have here is we actually have two of these Fibians on different builds. One of them is on a HP build, and it's on Conviction, uh, crit rate double HP. And this actually has pretty high crit rate. This is 19.5 plus 14.5 here. So I think this adds up to maybe around 99% ish or so. Um, very, very close to 100%. If my math is wrong and it is actually 100%, then it's actually even better. Um, I may be Asian, but I, 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 I only bro math, all right? I don't know. Have you, have, you ever guys, have, have you guys ever heard of bro science? It's basically like that, but for math. It's, it's called bro math. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put in some aggressors. Um, I'm I'm planning to put on put in some light tanks, but I don't think this is gonna be super fair because my my light Nike actually does have siphon, so it actually might be might be better than it actually is. But we'll we'll actually test this out um, with my two light Nikes. It's really all I have. I don't really have a third light light aggressor that I can use. Um, basically what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to use two light aggressors to split up the damage between the two of them so they can both um, you know split tank and then I will put in the dark fibian and um, basically have it healing at the same time and then for as for the, for the last unit I'm gonna put in a sapper this way it's easier to kill the boss now this dark fibian should be healing for quite a bit um, we'll we'll take a look we'll actually take a look at how much HP it has in total. Um, well, the, the gems of this monster is not maxed out, so I don't think it has that much HP. I think definitely with max gems, it should it should have a lot, a lot, lot more HP uh, to heal a lot more. And the other good thing about this monster is like if your all, all of your other units die, um, it might be able to heal quite a lot and just like completely solo down the boss using its battle rush and its uh, you know, it's healing skill. It actually might have a chance to basically solo the boss, making your runs a little bit more stable in the case of a emergency. Um, so we're going to go in with this team and hopefully, hopefully it works out. It worked out pretty well on stream yesterday when I tried this, but I thought it might be a pretty good idea to, to try this out again. Now I can't tell you how stable this will be because obviously I can only do two runs because I only have access to these two Dark Fibians. Forgot to start the auto, um, but it's fine. I started just in time. So Light Nikes do actually do quite a lot of damage um, to the Dark Units because they they basically have um, you know full six star defense gems maxed out. And the Fibian, all these units. Uh, my Miho is also built on full attack since he's not going to get targeted at, at all. 
So the Fibian will be able to provide sustain as well as some wave clear because of the battle rush. And since he is a dark type monster, um, he's also balance type, meaning that he actually has a little bit of base damage as well. As you uh, as you saw just now, I, I don't know if you saw it, it was very very quick. Um, on his first skill, he on, on like no attack build, he actually crit for 4k a hit, and it was like 4 hits, or 3 or 4 hits. Um, which is, I don't think it's a lot of damage, but it's a, it's a pretty... It's a it's a handsome amount of damage, I think. I would say. It's not it's not like super exceptional, but it's a it it it, it still does a little bit of damage, I think. So that's that's why I think he's pretty good for for um wave clearing as well. And the other really good thing about using healers that are have heals based on their um you know, based on their five star skill that basically, you know, does like an AoE AoE skill and then heals your team, is that um, since he's doing an, an actual attack on the enemy, he's gonna be able to generate more blue souls and this will actually help your team um, get their bars more. Which would be really, really nice because you wanna you know, you want your AoEs up to to be able to wave clear a little bit better. And yeah, that was pretty much it. That was that, that was the run. I think it's pretty I think it's definitely pretty stable. It's basically just double aggressors. Um, if you don't have two light aggressors, I think a light, light Coco can definitely work pretty well. Um, or it can. Oh god, I don't, I don't want to say this, but like you can, you can buy the light Mari. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a light Mari, and then that that actually might work pretty well as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna actually play again, and then this time we're gonna use the other Dark Fibian. And the interesting thing about this this other Dark Fibian is it's actually not on an HP build. It's uh it's actually on an attack build. So as you can see, it doesn't have too much HP, and it actually is on an intuition, um, crit rate double attack build. Now this only it's only a four star crit rate gem. Um, but it does actually have a little bit of crit rate substats here. The gems of this monster aren't aren't exactly too good, but it is on an intuition set. So I think uh, with just yeah, you with know, thirteen percent crit rate on a full intuition, um, but this only has thirty seven percent. I think it only has around ninety eighty ish ninety ish percent um, crit rate. So it won't always get the battle rush, but um, when it gets its AOE, it'll always have its AOE because this is not reliant on crit rate. So I, I don't necessarily think the Dark Fibian needs to have 100% crit rate. It might be more important to boost up the maybe the attack stat or the HP stat. Um, I definitely do think the HP build is a little bit more stable than the attack build. But we're, we're going to try this out. Now this is a full, basically a full glass cannon, full nuke um, Dark Fibian. It's not going to be healing for too much, but the wave clear will be much, much better than the other Dark Fibian. Dang, I can't see the camera. Alright, it was, it was hitting for 7k crits a hit on its first skill. I didn't want to slow down the runs to see damage um, of this because I actually wanted to see the actual run time of how how fast you know this a team like this can can be. Um, you know, someone was saying in in my last spotlight video that I didn't I didn't slow down the runs. Um, I don't net, I don't always um, you know slow down the runs to show attack. Usually I do that for like nuker attack type monsters to to kind of show off their damage to see exactly how much damage they can do in different situations and armor break situations and like no armor break situations um, stuff like that. But I think for for this where I'm like basically showing off a strategy or showing showing off a team, I think it might be better for me to not slow down the runs this way we can actually see a full run and see how how fast um, they're able to run this so I definitely think this is a pretty good monster like Dark Fibian is actually a pretty pretty nice monster um, I do like the fact that he's balanced time meaning that you can build him um, you can build him any way you want like you can build him full full glass cannon and he's still able to provide a little bit of healing uh, but the problem I think with a full glass cannon Dark Fibian build and why it might be a little bit more unstable is when you kill the two side units against the golem, um, he no longer provides enough healing for your team. When he's hit, hitting four units, even with 30k health, he's still healing for you know 3,000 a hit, and then for, from four units, that's still you know a 12k heal, which is definitely uh, quite. Which will probably heal your Victoria for like one third of their health, which provides enough sustain. But the problem is when, 
when all the units are dead, like in in this example where there's only one unit left, when you know the golem being the boss itself, it might not be able to provide enough healing for your team. So I think maybe a build for the Dark Fibian, um, if you want to do use them for Golem Speed 10, you can probably build them hybrid. Go with uh, crit rate, attack, HP. This way he's able to heal a little bit more even when the side units die during the golems, and at the same time, he's able to wave clear to make your runs a little bit faster. So this was 2 minute 13 seconds. I definitely think it was uh, it was pretty good. It's definitely not bad. So yeah, that, that is pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to show this uh, this monster spotlight really, really quickly. I think, it's, I think he's definitely a really good monster. Um, he's currently on Rebirth right now. You can... You should be able to get him... Um, I don't think it's too difficult to get him because right now it's it's a new rebirth. So every 20 rebirth you do, you will be able to get one Dark Fibian. Um, and mostly this is mostly for people that are moving from B10, B, B like if you're farming like B7, B8, B9, and you're trying to move on to B10, I think he's definitely a pretty good monster for that. Uh, the other reason, well the. The other reason why I think he should be pretty obtainable for those people is because if you're farming for, if you're trying to progress onto B B10, then you're probably at the point where you're able to farm B10 cons B8 consistently and relatively fast, meaning that you will probably be able to get quite a few eggs um, in the month if you're constantly farming B8, and you can use those eggs in order to do like you know the monsters you summon to do some rebirths. Also, there's a Yeti event out, and you can actually rebirth some of the extra Yetis that you don't need. Um, so should be pretty easy to, to get the Dark Fibian this month. I don't think it's too hard. Obviously, there's no guarantee. There's de definitely an RNG factor um, involved, but I think he's he's a nice unit to to use in order to um, you know start your B10 runs, especially if you're. Um, I think this is mostly for players that maybe started last month or so, and they have they have like a light Coco and a light Nike and you know a Dark Fibian. Um, they can probably do B10 using the team that I showed just now. Um, if you don't have another aggressor, then maybe a double healer comp could work as well. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe using a Dark Fibian plus an actual healer. It'll definitely slow down your runs, but I think your runs will be pretty stable as well. But yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. Um, I think your healer needs to be light, because you need to just basically have two whatever light units to split up the damage somehow. Um, but yeah, you can, if you started this month, maybe wait for next month. They might come out with another light aggressor or something like that, or maybe you can... I don't want to say get the light Mari, because that's really expensive. <laughs> Although she is she is definitely out right now, she's also a light aggressor, so she can kind of serve... do... Per, uh, you know, she can serve that same role, but, you know, it's pretty it's pretty hard, it's pretty expensive to get her, and if you're a new player, you probably can't afford her anyways. But yeah, I just wanted to show that really quick. Obviously, it's not like a, you know, fully farmable team, but it's... it, it should be good for um, players that have started this month, so it's definitely time relevant. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.